Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and in my channel I talk about plants and my life and journey with my plants. Today I'm making another requested video by one of you guys. Uh, Kwok Ding has asked me to make a uh, Hoya video featuring all my splashy Hoyas. Originally I thought it would be a super long video because I know I have such a love for splashy Hoyas but as I was collecting them I realized that I don't actually have that many compared to like you know the number of my collection. Um, I think I have about 21 splashy Hoyas here to show you guys um, and I don't think these are all the splashy Hoyas that I have but they are this is the bulk of it. A lot of them are like repeats or they're just like a little bit splashy so I decided not to bring them over. Um, yeah, but I really, really think splashy Hoyas are so beautiful. It's really hard for me to resist uh, when I see a beautiful splashy Hoya. Splash away. Um, all right, I, I'm just gonna grab whatever is in front of me. Um, they're everywhere here. So did I mention already? I have 21 to show you guys. So here we go. Um, the first one, maybe I'll just show you the one that I had just recently featured in my plant haul. This one is still rooting. Yeah, I think it's taking a little while to root. Um, so it still feels really soft, but it is really, really gorgeous. I got this splashy Hoya Mikel from Magic Oasis. It came in sphagnum moss and I, um, I am very heavy-handed when I when I water Hoyas, so I have decided to just remove all the uh, sphagnum moss and like the roots with the sphagnum moss and, and re-root it into cocoa house chips. It is just something that I'm much more comfortable with. Like I just know that I, I water so heavily that um, it's better for me not to use sphagnum moss as much like with the root system. But this is so pretty and so splashy. Um, yeah, that's the first one. And then the second one is this Hoya um, Rinzi Borneo that I got from my new friend Mimi. I think this is such a pretty Hoya. Um, it hasn't started to grow yet, and then, but I, I've killed this one before and I've had a hard time with it, so I'm hoping this time around will be a little bit different. <laughs> yeah, I really think it's such a pretty Hoya. Okay, that's the second one. And then the third one, I actually got a bigger plant of this, but I cut it into half and I mounted one half into the moss wall in my grow tent and the other half in, the, um, uh, in a pot. I'm actually finding my Hoyas, they don't do very well in the moss wall. I think maybe it's because it's a hard, it's tricky for me to manage the watering. The moss wall, the moss layer is very um, thin, so I need to like stay on top of watering it. But then sometimes, so it, some, it's either like the Hoya roots get too dry or it's too wet. And, and a lot of them are kind of hit, like not getting uh, as much light as I think they would would like so I started to remove some of my Hoyas from the moss wall but anyways anyway so this one is um, a Hoya Obovara very got a splash he's working on a little new leaf it's really cute I will take you guys into the grill tent to see the other half of this one I am thinking I might remove that one from the wall and repot it too there you go, because it's tried to grow new leaves a couple times and it just um, doesn't successfully like grow out the new leaf. Yeah, I just don't, don't know how happy it is in that setting. Um, the next Hoya I want to show you is actually one that is a little bit in quarantine right now. It's got some scale issues and that is the Hoya Rangsang. Um, yeah, scales really like Hoyas, like mealybugs like Hoyas. Um, the way I deal with it is just like once I know that there are scales, I keep it away from other Hoyas. I spray it with like a soapy water, but then the most important part is to kind of check on it almost daily or every other day and wipe down the leaf. And whenever you see like little new um, scale, just um, remove it and remove it. Just stay on top of that. And I find that method actually is really helpful in eliminating the 
scale issue. But yeah, did I say this is a Hoya Rang Sang? So beautifully splashy. I think this is what I think it's one of the most beautifully splashy Hoyas uh, in my collection. It's just like perfect splashiness and like the darkness of the leaves. It's really gorgeous. Another Hoya I want to show you, it's also currently um, in quarantine, is the Corsia Silver. And this Hoya, uh, you guys, uh, some of you may know the story, like it grew out these two really beautiful silver leaves. And right away I tried to propagate that cutting, like that, those, that pair of silver leaves. And that um, cutting just kind of died. It didn't root it, it rooted, but then it still rotted away. It grew out two more leaves, but then I thought it had thrips, but I think it was actually spider mite. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot of experience dealing with spider mites, so it's hard for me to like spot them. But yeah, I think I'm starting to get more experience now with them. This is the Hoya Corsia Silver. I think it's a really beautiful Hoya, and I'm just waiting for it to kind of uh, recover. It, I think it got like um, pep, uh, spider mites from this, um, the pink lady peperomia that was um, gifted to me by my brother. And I, I think that one had some spider mites and it, they were sitting really close to each other. And this guy just, the leaves are so thin. I think it just, um, I don't know, it got attacked really quickly, but I'm monitoring and I'm, I'm hopeful that it will, it will bounce back. I will insert a photo of when it had beautiful silver leaves. That one. Another one that I, I brought over to show you guys is the uh, Cinemafolia, Cinemafolia Splash or Silver. It is, um, it, it's still quite a new import. It was actually a replacement Hoya because the one that I got really quickly died from the after the import. So the seller had replaced one for me just recently. And I think it's still in the process of rerouting. Um, but it's a pretty big Hoya. So th there's no splashiness on the bottom, like two leaves, but the top two leaves are quite splashy and beautiful. Um, again, I am using the Cocoa Hush chips on the bottom and Sphagnum Moss on the top to grow this one. Um, yeah, and you guys know like almost all of my Hoyas are in the Grow 10 except for like the quarantine ones um, and some that I'm propagating. Otherwise, everybody else is just in the Grow 10. It's just the perfect amount of like humidity and warmth and brightness for, for my Hoyas. And then the next one I want to show you, it, um, I got it from my friend Helen and um, her mother plant is a like a be big, beautiful, big, beautiful, like splashy plant. I got a cutting of it, but like I haven't been able to get it to grow splashy leaves. And this one, I think it's a um, fungi cross, a hybrid, and it's the, so this is the cutting that I got. This is a leaf and it's, she took a cutting because it got too close to the grow light and yeah, so she had to like trim it. Uh, so I got that cutting, but then these two leaves that came out of it, it's just uh, really green and there's no splashiness. I don't know. She suggested for me to like maybe put it by the windowsill or um, give it brighter light and like bigger uh, temperature difference for the Hoya. Maybe the temperature is just too consistent in the grow tent for the splashiness to come. I, I don't know how to control splashiness. It is like a mystery and I just, I have given up trying to control it. So I'm just always like, fingers crossed. I hope it grows a new splashy leaf, but, and if it doesn't, it doesn't, you yeah. know. But I still think it's a very pretty Hoya. Maybe it just needs the green, I don't know. This just reminds me like of a bigger size, um, Wilbur Graves. Uh, which I have right here. I can just show you. Um, the next one is, I'll just show you the Wilbur Graves from Russia. Okay. Oh, okay. I was just going to tell you guys that this is the cutting that I took from my mother plant. The other one um, has started growing, but the leaves are, again, not splashy. And this one I thought is still not growing for so long now because 
When it had like a growth spurt, I took many cuttings and I sold them and I traded with them and it kind of just like stunted its growth, I guess. It just it was not growing for a super long time. Um, and uh, this cutting, I think it's been a, I have to say, I feel like it's been a year and a half now. Um, but look at the bag. It is trying to grow. Like there's new growth here and new growth here. So yeah, wish me luck that these guys grow out to be splashier. Maybe it's time for me to place it in a brighter spot. But this is one of my like very first like rare Hoya like in my collection. It was so special to me and I was like, yeah, I was just like like a little school girl, school girl like with my admiration for this Hoya. Very special to me. Um, the next one I got from Hoya Palace. This is the Wilbur Graves China. Um, again, it's like a very, very pretty Hoya. The leaf shape is more elongated. Okay. Next one I want to show you actually also another replacement Hoya. I got a shipment from the seller a while back and this is the only Hoya that didn't make it, which kind of makes sense because the leaf is a little bit more tender than the other more like succulent Hoyas. Uh, so she sent a replacement, but the replacement also got bent uh, during transit. And my friend who received the Hoya, cause she ordered other Hoyas too, uh, put some glue over the bent for me. And it seems to be doing the trick. I'm not seeing any more yellowing of the leaf. I feel like the leaf is gonna stay on. And this is a Hoya cor Cornery. Very pretty. You see what I mean? The bend is right here. Um, so sometimes even if you put the glue on, the leaf is just, it's gonna die anyway. It's not, it's not receiving nutrients anymore. It starts like yellow by the edge, but I'm not seeing that on this one. So I feel like it's, the leaf is staying. And there's like a tiny little bit of, um, New grow point right in the in the middle. So yeah, I'm hopeful that this guy is gonna make it. Another one leaf splashy Hoya I want to show you guys. I got this actually quite a while ago and it hasn't grown any new leaf yet. And I got it. This is this was sold to me as a Finley Sony eye splash. Um, and yeah, I think it's very, very pretty and I look forward to when it hits a growth spur. I have like more um, of these beautiful leaves. And then I also got this recently. Uh, this is um, Hoya Wibber Gay. I got this because I wanted to, um, I, the splashes can turn really pink under brighter light. Um, so. These, this is a, the set of new leaves that it's just recently put out. It's got a little bit of pink, but I feel like it could uh, be pinker. I could give it a little bit brighter light, but, but I'm just happy that it's growing so quickly after having travel for so long. Yeah, it's very beautiful. I had um, this one, Hoya, in the very beginning of my Hoya collecting journey and that one died and I, I'm, I've all, I have been looking to replace it over the past few years. I'm really glad that I finally have it back into my collection. Beautiful Hoya. All right, There's that one. And then the next one is the Hoya ETS 10, which I actually recently like took a, made a video of me propagating it but I made that video right after I got my like dental surgery and I really just like ran out of breath in the middle of my video and I just kind of gave up and I deleted the video. <laughs> um, it just felt like it was too low energy and I didn't, I couldn't do it. But anyway, so there's a little bit of like, I, uh, one cutting that I put, this is the cutting that I took and I just propped it back into the perlite substrate that this, this plant is sitting in. Um, yeah, this is just like a beautiful, perfect small leaf Hoya with the perfect splashing. So gorgeous. There you go. 
And the next one also was in that video that I um, <laughs> that I deleted. Um, I actually just repotted this whole thing after. Oops, my meditation app, my calm app is reminding me to pause and recharge. Um, I recently just repotted this into like um, cocoa has chips. I don't know. I don't remember what it was. It might have been um, root mealybugs. So my my newest here. Let me just show you the plan and talk to you guys about my newest regimen for dealing with root mealybugs. Now is to take it out from the substrate and use a hyd like diluted hydrogen peroxide solution. I think. Uh, one part to four like one part hydrogen peroxide to four parts water and I kind of I kind of like um, soak the root system like the in, in that solution and then also like wash out as much visible um, root mealies as possible and then I think it will be best if you um, follow that up with another like a watering the next time you water it use another like it's the same solution to water um, but sometimes I forget to follow up with a second treatment but this is what I did I think with this one I think there you go that's super beautiful this one's kind of flimsy because I just took a cutting and it's like uh, it's just rooting in there yeah, I got this as like a, I think two leaf cutting from from Jing, Mom and Plants, and as from a tray. I, oh no, no, I think I bought it from her. Or was it from a tray? I don't remember. Maybe tray. Yeah. <laughs> Go. This one I want to show you guys again because it's just the most beautiful Hoya. The Hoya sigillatus. It is just so beautiful the way it is. The splashing is just outstanding, I think. And the color is so beautiful. I love this Hoya so much. And you, you know, like once you've had a Hoya for a long enough and it's just like kind of I feel like once it's established enough, it's a little bit out of the woods. You don't have to worry about it as much and it just um, it just grows um, better. And I feel like I have finally reached that spa uh, space with this Hoya. Pretty. And then the next one, I actually recently got this from my friend Helen. Um, her Instagram is Helen vs. Plants. I talk about her a lot. She has so many beautiful Hoyas. And this one is one that I have been looking for, uh, wanting to get for a really long time. And she just has a really beautiful plant. And, and she posted it on her Instagram and I asked her if she has any cutting to spare. And then she sold me a little beautiful cutting. And this is the Hoya Kochang Island. The stem is really short. Um, so I am tucking it in also with the sphagnum moss on top, but cocoa has chips on the bottom. I just love how dark it is. So I'm keeping it a little bit lower in the grill tin, further away from the lights. I just want it wanted to keep that beautiful, glossy, uh, dark color. I don't want the light to bleach it out. That's that one. Um, okay, and the next one is, this one is not super splashy, but I'm actually, I really love this one. And um, it hasn't grown since I imported it. Uh, my friend imported it for me, but I still think it's really beautiful. It's a Sisiantha Silver Spot. Um, I don't know how happy it is since it's not growing, but it used to be much limper and the color of the leaves used to be much like more yellow. So um, yeah, I'm just waiting for it to start growing. <laughs> All right. And then the next one, I think this is, I don't remember what it was sold to me as. It's a Carnosa. You know, there's so many different types of Carnosa, like Stardust. Freckles. I think this one was Stardust, um, but I'm not sure. I just had to recently reroute this. 
but, and it has not grown for a super long time, but it is a stunning Hoya. And um, I'm hopeful that it'll eventually hit a growth spur and give me more beautiful, splashy dotted leaves like this. And we only have th three left to show you guys. And I'm really excited for all three of them. Um, this one, the first one, well, not the first one, the third to last is um, Mini Bell Splash. To be honest, like it's only grown two leaves since I got it, like quite a few months ago, uh, maybe fall last year, but still it's very beautiful. And um, yeah, I don't know what's up, <laughs> why it's growing so slowly. The regular mini bell is really easy to grow. And the person who sold me this plant told me um, that hers grows really well, really quickly too. So yeah, I, I don't know. It's again, another just like game of patience, I suppose. Very beautiful Hoya. Super nice splash. Ta -da. All right. And then the next one is one of my favorite splashy Hoyas. Although it looks like the newest leaf is not splashy. <laughs> this is my, the Hoya Matilde. What do people call this? Silver splash splash, right? So pretty, but like the newest leaf doesn't look like it will have any splashes. That's okay. Again, you know, I just, I, uh, I surrender when it comes to splashing for Hoyas. But I think it's, and you know, I love my Hoya Matilda green form and the splashy one is just so adorable. And finally, the oh, one that I want to show you is um, Hoya Joy Splash. I don't know what happened to these new leaves. They, this one, the, the first, so this is the original leaf that came with the, from the seller, Hoya, etc. And then it started growing this new leaf and I know it was touching something, that's why it grew a little bit wonky. So I moved it away from things, but the second new leaves don't grow a little bit wonky. I think my growth tendage is really cramped. So the new leaves are most likely touching something. Is growing another new leaf, you know, right now, you know, it's hard to tell if it's gonna be splashy, but that's okay. I think this is a very gorgeous plant. I'm very happy to have it. And there you have it, guys. 21 splashy Hoyas. Um, I hope you enjoy these Hoyas, and uh, I would love to know which one really stood out to you. Let me know in the comments below. I'm feeling a little bit low energy today. I don't know what it is. Um, maybe because I was being a little bit too productive yesterday. Sometimes when I get like that, uh, I get that energy and I just want to do so much and I clean and I just try to get so much done at once and then I feel like I don't manage my energy very well and I just get really depleted afterwards. So I think this is what it is. Oh, and also last night I woke up to check the time um, and I got a message from somebody that kind of really irked me and I just wasn't able to fall back asleep for a really long time. So yeah, that's probably also a reason why. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys soon again. <laughs> Bye.